quote, you can't play the game of we're all individuals. We have to affirm and be proud of our ethnic identity and heritage to preserve the West's curious individualism. If Europeans become minorities in the West, he argues, the founding idea of the West, that no entity, not an individual, not a community, not the state, can justly deprive an individual of life, liberty, or property by force, no matter what the individual's race, class, or religion. I wouldn't be surprised if Duchesne, when he made this statement, had you in mind. Look, the medieval Europeans identified seven deadly sins for a reason, and one of them was pride. It's like, let's make the presumption. I do believe that for, for reasons that aren't obvious, that the West has got some things right. We've got the sovereignty of the individual right. That's the most fundamental thing we've got right. We've articulated that, I think, in a, in a remarkable way, not only theologically, philosophically, in our body of laws, in our societies. And one of the consequences of that, as it's had its effect on the rest of the world, is that everyone is getting richer quite fast. And that's a really good thing. Okay, having said that, it's like, am I proud of that? It's like, I didn't do that. What the hell? Pride. What's that? That's not the right response. How about responsibility for that? How would that be? It's like you're part of this, this great and unlikely set of propositions, this strange set of propositions that says that in some ineffable manner the poorest person is as valuable as the king. It's like how the hell did we ever figure that out? That's an impossible thing to think, and yet that's the, that's the bedrock of our legal system. That's nothing to be proud of. That's something to tremble before, to take on as a, an ethical burden, and not to wave a flag for how wonderful you are that you happen to have the same skin color as some of the people who thought that up. It's not the right response. It's like it's, it's to open your eyes and recognize that as a miracle, and a relatively a relatively new miracle on the world stage and to and to participate in the process of upholding that in your personal and your public life that's not pride in European tradition like when I go to Europe and I love going to Europe and the European cities are they're unbelievable masterpieces which is why they're completely flooded by pilgrims right tourists pilgrims who go there to look at the beauty it's like I don't feel pride about that I feel I feel like I have something to live up to. That's not the same thing, man. And so these right-wingers in this, it's like, look what we've done. It's like, no, it's not you that did that. That's something, man. You gotta, you gotta have your act together before you would dare to say, well, that was me. It's like, yeah, sure, sure it was you. Yeah, right. No, that's hard to stand up and take your place in that, in that kind of historical process, that unlikely, miraculous historical process, not to just feel ashamed at the way that you're presently constituted in the face of that means that you're, you're deluded and you're using your, your, your great fortune at being a beneficiary of that system. Look at what we've got here, this great peace that we're inhabiting right now. You're using your unearned the unearned gift that's been granted to you as a source of personal pride in your accomplishments due to your skin. It's like, no, not good, not a good argument. So, and that doesn't mean that, well, there's nothing valuable about European culture. There's plenty, there's plenty about it that's valuable. It's not even so clear to what degree it's European. I mean, it came out of the Middle East, you know? I mean, modern people often ask themselves, why do I have to study history? Well, you're a historical being. You need to know who you are and where you came from and why you think the things you think. That's why you have to place yourself in the proper tradition. I'm taking four of my esteemed colleagues and you across the world. Oh wow, this is amazing. To rediscover the ways our ancient ancestors developed the ideas that shaped modern society. It was a monument to civic 
greatness. To visit the places where history was made. That is ash from the actual fires when the Babylonians burned Jerusalem from 2,500 years ago. To walk the same roads. We are following the path of the crucifixion. And experience the same wonder. We are on the site of a miracle. What kind of resources can human beings bring to a mysterious but knowable universe? Science, art, politics, all that makes life wonderful. And something new about the world is revealed. And you're using your, your, your great fortune at being a beneficiary of that system. Look at what we've got here, this great peace that we're inhabiting right now. You're using your unearned, the unearned gift that's been granted to you as a source of personal pride in your accomplishments due to your skin. It's like, no, not good, not a good argument. Not good. Not a good argument.